All right, we had a great time earlier this week trying ribs that was for a different event that's happening on the North Shore, but saucy good. Yeah, and we are so lucky to have so many great people here in town smoking meat. Yeah, right. Well, exactly. And you know what? And over on the North Shore right now outside Accra Shore Stadium, it literally people doing ribs that come from all across the country yeah. and then they, they make this a yearly thing and Thank then you. people in our area come down and they're like, oh, I want to find the guy from South Carolina. Oh, I want to find the guy That's from Tennessee. Right. And That's really right. it, it becomes like, you know, a big thing just it to does. go back and sample that and then try something new. It really does. And so we know there's a lot going on on the North Shore right now for the annual kickoff and rib fest. Yeah, it gets underway uh, and runs all Labor Day weekend. It's already underway. There's going to be music. There's going to be football and some of the best ribs in the country. Daisy is live on the scene over there. And Daisy, we saw it earlier. They put you to work. <laughs> I, I mean, I think this could possibly be one of the best jobs is being able to put a lot of sauce on all these amazing ribs. And guys, I wish there was smell of vision We talk about this all the time, but it smells amazing here and it's nine o'clock in the morning. But yes, this is one of my favorite times of year. This kicks off not only Labor Day weekend, but also football season. So as you can see, I'm representing Pitt. I'm actually here with John Waterick, one of my favorite people that is here, the marketing director here over at Acre Shirt. And Again, this is the 20th year of Rib yes, Fest. So, so what can people expect this year? Uh, this is bigger than ever this year. There's a lot going on. We have 12 different ribbers, and they all cook different. So you want to get around, try to taste everybody if you, if you can. Tomorrow, like Daisy said, we got Pitt. Mm. Tonight, we have the Clarks with Chip and the Charge up to open in the show. Sunday is a packed day. We start off with the Cornhole Classic. It benefits the Veterans Place, which is a great organization. It's here locally. Come down, support our vets, playing some cornhole, win some, win some money. Uh, Saturday, we also have Squonk. They're another Pittsburgh thing. They do an amazing show. It's going to be two shows on Sunday, two shows on Monday. It's their national debut. No one has seen this yet, so you want to get out to see this. Wow. And Sunday night, the Common Heart with Trey's Lads playing. This is going to be a great Pittsburgh weekend. And then Sunday and Monday, we got the Steelers 5K kicking off the day. We got youth mini camps going on down on the field. So get your kids down here, get signed up. And then Monday, we have barbecue and blues with Billy Price. No better way to end the Labor Day weekend than come down here eating some ribs, enjoying some free music. And this event kicks off football yes. for everybody here. So it's not just Steelers, it's Steelers, Pitt, high school football. Come down and celebrate with us. It's a free event. We do this for everybody in the region to come down and enjoy. Yeah, again, one of my favorite events. Thank you so much, John. But speaking of food, because it is Rib Fest, I'm actually here with Lord of Cowboy Barbecue. Pittsburgh! Now, as you can tell, she's super excited because you're from Texas, right? All the way from e the dirty south. Everything's bigger in Texas, right? Yeah, Including look at the setup. Your... Our setup's bigger, and guess what? Our barbecue's better because yeah, they your, say it's bigger and better. Your, your ribs look amazing. And tell us what do people, I guess, say about your ribs? Well, we've been doing this show since day one, back when it was at South Park and Three Rivers. So, um, I mean, one thing they know is that, you know, like you said, everything's better in Texas. So, you know what I tell them is come put a little south in your mouth and you figure it out yourself that, I mean, listen, one thing we got right is barbecue. I, I believe it because whenever I was looking at this, I just was already, I think your slogan is so good at you're going to moan or this, something. I got this one. <laughs> So then yeah. why don't we try that out? Because that is our slogan. It's so good you'll moan. Okay. Well, I definitely so need to try some of this, guys. Let me hold that for you. So oh, I got you. Okay. Look. Look, at, look at her. She's hooking me up. Okay. They, they, they offer me a job in every city, but I'm going to let you do this, and I'm going to be the cooker. Show you guys. Look, first of all, all this sauce. <laughs> Get you right here on the bone. See, you got to even teach you how to eat the bone. Well, I'm trying to. <laughs> nah, this is barbecue. Oh, you can't. She is sassy. I love oh, her. Oh, I know. I love her, too. Oh, now, yeah. see, there, there's a difference. Like, we all watch the news. You know there's that fake stuff when the anchors be like, mm, that's really good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. David yeah. and Heather, yeah. I, Let's hear it. I will We're certainly bring all it. of this back for you guys. She's speechless. Oh, yeah? I'm speechless. But we have all the stuff. So not just ribs, but it is good. But we have brisket, pork butt, chicken, sausage, all the southern fixings, macaroni, collard greens, potato salad, beans, coleslaw. And I don't know if you can zoom in over there, Mr. Cameraman, but it's like those kids said. You know how the kids say nowadays, you got the drip. But if you zoom in where that brisket is, we really do got the drip. I love it so much. Thank you, Lauren. You guys are amazing. <laughs> and be sure to check out Rib Fest. It's a party down here. Oh, oh Daisy, that is gosh. wonderful. I am so glad she found her. Put a little 
south in your mouth. Is that what put she said? Put some south in your mouth. And then what did she say the kids are talking about? The uh, drip? The, I don't know anything don't, about the drip. Any, anyhow, you know what? That was just, what does that it even was, mean? That was a blast. And she left Daisy speechless. I'm That's so, hard to do. I'm so, I'm so, anytime we talk about what the kids are talking about, I, know, I get a little bit worried. That we I say. don't know what it means. Yeah. All right. Hey, we have a link for more info on all of this on our website. So check that out.